Back in some more grief, fall. Uh. I'm finna do this San Mateus mission. Let me see what it's called. The Attack of San Mateus. Sade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malachor. I became more cautious. But no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got two more to eat. for three hundred meters. It's not really too far away. Honestly, can I go to my house and find a closer way? Stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We are actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit that I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. All right, let's wait. Ready, weapons! There they are! <laughs>
Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it were for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from. But first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye. territory. I hope she isn't involved. So do I. That being said, maybe we should go and meet her. Look me up in here getting stuck. Is the game all right? The soldiers' tracks lead to the northeast. We should follow if we want to find them.
Wait a second. Oh, I, I forgot to read that message. Oh, the game pretty good. This man will die if we don't do something about it. What? What happened? You, you saved me. Thank you. Uh, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Your officer sent us. He told us that you were looking for the origin of these attacks. Uh, and we found it. We followed the beast's trail and, and it led us to a large glade east of here. You'll find raised stones there. The ones which are worshipped by the islanders. There was a, a, a creature there. A, a beast so large and so ferocious. I've, I've never seen anything like it. That's what must have been attracting the animals. We wanted to kill it, but... It prevailed. All my comrades fell in battle against it. I fled. I had to inform the lieutenant. And you were right. Don't worry. We'll take care of it now. We took some notes and, and we drew a map as we progressed. It, it may be of use to you. Everything is in that chest over there. Here. Take the key. Investigating the beast tracks led us to the area. I uh, symptom we were wrong. The beast did not come from the village. We found more tracks much further, going towards the heart of the island. Oh. Uh, Let me go see what's in this chest. Why well, nothing of important? Another campsite, and if I'm not mistaken, this might be my last one. I reckon I'm good.
Allez, bon. a lot like the one who is attacking Hikmet and seems to be afflicted by the same disease. I'm certain that a human is behind this epidemic. These creatures wouldn't attack in such a coordinated manner if someone wasn't leading them. That yet I'm gonna finish this mission. Let me see, can one of them hold its blade? Might be Kirk if anybody. No. I feel like that's only a player weapon. Yeah, I think so. Almost at level thirty five. Uh. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarde, what can I do for you? You are back. I hear there are no more attacks. Once again, your help was a blessing. Did our troops survive? There were some losses, but the outpost is still standing. And it's thanks to them that I was able to follow the creature's trail. The officer sent out a small party hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. Now that's a resourceful man. Did his initiative bear fruit? His men died, alas. But following their tracks led me to the creature who was leading the animals. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, a mountain guardian, but it seemed like it was sick. Its skin was covered in stains and ulcers, and its behavior was different from the other guardians I've met. Where could it have come from? And why did it send all these beasts after us? I don't know, but someone must be behind all this. These attacks are too coordinated and too complex to be the work of some creatures. You are a man of great ingenuity. I have no doubt that you will solve this mystery. At any rate, I am extremely grateful for the help you have given us. You're welcome. Anything else? Hmm. No. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Oh, Constantine might be the uh behind it. Alright, good. It's gonna be right on my way to Constantine.
Did I get any reward for getting them on nice? Probably not, but I'm going to check anyway. No, it don't look like it. Well, I might need to sell some. Before I talk to you, Constantine, let me go up here. Let me see what room we in. Uh, why didn't I just mark it on the map? See, that's the wrong area. Here you go. Sadi Corsilion. This sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? Can your old professor still prove himself? The mission you entrusted me with has made great progress. Very well. Let's see. Oh, this is remarkable work. You explore the entire surface of the island. Well, almost. Congratulations. Thanks to you, our merchants and explorers will be able to reach the heart of this island safely. The prince will surely be very grateful for this. I know I am. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Hmm. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsilio. I level thirty five. Right, let me go on back down here and talk. To huh. Yeah, I got one point. That's it, nothing else. Thirty-seven. Hmm. Constantine, my dear cousin, I am always happy to see you. What news do you bring? 
We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So, what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a beach guardian. But it seemed just as sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right. But I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You'd better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... Peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed. Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Oh, my goodness. Listen. I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? Normally, I would have said getting drunk at the tavern. But clearly, that isn't the case. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Miel Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue. Man, oh my goodness. I was hoping that Enon Miel Frichtemann won right. But it seems like it. All this potential, this feeling of power, I feel so alive. My experiments bore fruit. Catasets link cured me, but those I established. Hold on. 
But those I established myself made me a god. Soon the whole island will answer my call as long as I'm not interrupted. Small group of exiled natives saw me passing by Quinvar the other night. If they denounce me, they could ruin my whole plan. I can't take that risk. I must get rid of them. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Constantine. I shouldn't have never even choose to have Catasatch help him. But I ain't gonna say too much because I feel like if I have chose the other ones, it would have been some just as worse. has descended into madness but we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him oh my goodness The trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixe. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixe. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Donegad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hoit in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. I... Uh... You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When I was young, I got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Minundanem. I thought he was, but I was wrong. And one day, I met the one I would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So? Our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? Huh. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. Oh, Constantine. I don't want to have to kill my cousin, but it looks like I might have to. I don't 
don't want to. Wait, what? Let me see. I can't go this way. So I'm gonna have to find a way to go around. to go this way I do I had to go to the top no that's a, just a shortcut so I had to go to the top Can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. Alright. If I see him, then he's not alone. Where are you? Oh my goodness, Constantine. I got to follow him. Ain't I'm crazy. There they still out here. Didn't we tell them to hide? I know Constantine saw them. So this path will open up. Let's follow him quick. Constantine, what you up to? Oh my goodness. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Oh, 
Oh my god. Look at all this. And I ain't got him with not one trail. Oh, woo! Spoke too soon. God, Flesh of my earth, help me. You saw him do it, didn't you? You saw him draw from me, steal my children, my guardians. Convert my force. Yes, but I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness, the brevity of his existence, that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each point that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart. My most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. What is madness? The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth. Or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Milfrichtum never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet. And find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Norse. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinda. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Burr. What an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. God, dog.
The merchant congregation is now hostile towards us. Let me see. I ain't finna start this mission yet. Convince the knots. Hmm. God damn, but I don't know if I can. Oh, let me see which one I'm gonna go to first. I'm going to go to the native first. But I'm going to do that next time. Boy, this game is getting good. But I don't know if I can trust El Mel Frickman. Any, any day of the week, I'm going to choose my cousin before I choose him. And I feel like that's it for now. And until next time.